Welcome back to Broken Electronics. My name is Lee, and today's video is the sequel, as it were, to the recent video concerning the upgrades to my 2006 Mac Pro 1,1. Today we turn it into a 2,1. The first step is going to be flashing the firmware, at which point it will identify itself as a 2,1 and it will be able to address the new CPUs properly. And that's a good thing. should make the system more stable uh, and generally a very good thing. Now, the, the other problem, of course, these are much more powerful CPUs than what was in there. They run quite a bit hotter than the machine was intended to support. So it will tend to run too hot. This can be addressed by an SMC firmware update. Somewhat trickier to do, the firmware update for 2.1 is quite straightforward. The SMC is a little trickier but should be doable. And again here I want to give all thanks to Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods. Check out his channel. Uh, and you will be able to find his videos on this process. I am simply following that guide in making this video. Well, anyhow, I hope you find this interesting. And if you do, please stay tuned. Well, a quick interjection here. Uh, <clears throat> you will see in the rest of the video things did not go as planned at all. Uh, Greg's original directions did work, but not anymore. What I eventually found was that Apple has moved the firmware updates. So the the tool that would cause it to work on the 1.1 Mac Pros couldn't find the files anymore. I did find uh, a thread on the Mac Rumors forums, again through diligent web searching, saying that uh, giving some very clear directions of how to open one of the files in text edit, remove several lines of the code, and save it. So you'd use the the tool from Netcus to make the RAM disk and copy the necessary files, including this one amended one, into the RAM disk. Then, through using terminal commands, you could get it to work. Now, the terminal commands given in the forum were not exactly right, at least insofar as specifying the exact path uh, to the files. However, drag and drop works. So, in the first command in terminal, you drag and drop that file that you amended from within the RAM disk. In the second terminal, command to actually activate it, you drag and drop the RAM disk itself. And it works. So now you know it does it does work. I will post in the description uh, links to where you can find the Apple firmware update and the Mac rumors uh, thread where you can see exactly how to fix this. Now, if you want to see what I went through in the process of trying this, please stay tuned. Alright, <clears throat> I noticed that screen recording in QuickTime in Lion is a little bit different than on El Capitan. Uh, I don't get a controller in the menu bar. Ah oh, well, as long as it's working. <clears throat> yes, this is the Mac Pro 2006, aka 1, 1, and I have booted it into Lion. Uh, it is a good idea whenever you're doing something unusual, such as a firmware upgrade, uh, 
to use a natively supported operating system. This machine runs El Capitan very, very well, but doing the firmware upgrade would probably not be a good idea. It's also handy to have an installation of a natively supported operating system uh, just in case any difficulties arise with your unsupported system. Uh, I do this on my 5.1 .1 2010 Mac Pros. Uh, they're running Catalina, courtesy of DOS Dude 1, extremely well. There are no issues at all. Uh, but I do keep an installation of Mojave available just to be on the safe side. Uh, haven't actually needed to boot those machines into Mojave in quite a while. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at about this Mac. We can scroll in for you here. You know, Mac OS 10.7.5. Uh, unfortunately, whenever I move the mouse, more info. And you see here, interestingly, uh, what comes up is the about this Mac dialog that we're used to seeing instead of the old style one. Uh, so we click System Report from here. We will see the old system report. Now this is what I wanted to look at. Uh, Mac Pro 1 comma 1. <clears throat> Once we have done this uh, firmware update, we should see that reading as 2 comma 1. And that will get rid also of the unsupported. And we should see a change in the boot ROM as well. Uh, so that's the first part of it. Now, this should be very, very straightforward. Uh, but let me go through what you need to do. Uh, in order to be prepared to do this. Now, interestingly, as an aside, anybody out there who, for whatever reason, may be running Lion, I'm not sure what that reason might be, uh, but anyhow, I can wish that dialog box would hide itself. All right. What we've got here, this is Greg Rutke's uh, video on the EFI update, and he gives us a link to this Netcus forum. No, Greg, I didn't mean for your video to start. I haven't had permission from you. All right, anyway. Here is the Netcus forum link, and I, I will try to remember to put this link into the description. Uh, so for, this is the thread in the Netcus forum, and pinned right at the top by Mac EFI ROM is his Mac Pro 2006-2007 firmware tool.zip. I have already downloaded this, uh, so you can certainly download that. Now in Greg's other tutorial, he also points here to a thread on the same Netcast forums asking for help on doing the SMC upgrade. And a reply here from a kindly person known as Bunga Bunga. <laughs> uh, has provided links to the SMC flasher.efi and the SMC itself, uh, which again I have both downloaded. Uh, we will get into that in more detail uh, when we move on to the SMC upgrade. All right, and yes, uh, Firefox Legacy does behave very well. Now, the version of Firefox 
is 67.0.4. Firefox is actually up to version 77, but at this point, websites all seem to uh, deal with this version perfectly well, including, for example, YouTube. Uh, not an issue at all. Uh, Witness the fact that Greg's video started to play. I've got the this on the internal speaker. Turn that up some, uh, which is a miserable speaker, of course. Uh, you might not have been able to hear Greg's voice popping up when I wasn't really expecting it. Okay, let's close out of this. All right. Now, on to the firmware update. Here we have the Mac Pro 2006-2007 uh, firmware tool. It's a zip file. An archiver is going to open it for us. And here you see the tool with this nice little picture of a Mac Pro. Now, we're getting the warning about uh, application downloaded from the internet. Fortunately, these earlier versions of OS X don't forbid you from opening them. All right, and here we see our directions. This program will allow you to upgrade a 2006 Mac Pro to 2007 version firmware or to downgrade a 2000, 2007 Mac Pro to 2006 version firmware. Why anyone would want to downgrade it, I really don't know. Uh, okay. Although it's not really going to harm anything, you're just going to be back to the processors not being properly recognized. So what we do here is click Upgrade to 2007 Firmware, put in the password, it's creating its RAM disk now, there's the RAM disk, oh goody, the program has encountered an error. So here's this blank RAM disk. It may not be completely blank. I have to move it to trash. I will try running that again. Well, this is unfortunate. Tell you what, I'm going to have to troubleshoot somewhat and figure out what's going wrong. I may need to re-download the tool. Uh, we will get this figured out. So, stay tuned. All right. I did re-download the tool uh, and just to note when I did this this morning preparing to do this video I, I was having some Wi-Fi issues things did seem to be moving slowly uh, and it took several minutes to download the tool this time it downloaded in seconds so we're just going to try it again. Yes, I do want to. Okay, we've already looked at that. Pardon the motorcycles. And I'm getting the same error. Well, okay.
back to the drawing board. Okay, let's see if I can explain this reasonably quickly. In my studying, the, the problem is that Apple, as they have with so many things, has moved the location of the tool. So the, the firmware update tool that I originally got from Netcast for can't find the files. So what was suggested in a Mac Rumors forum, which you can see over here, get the upgrade tool from netcus.org. It says via Wayback Machine, but you don't need to do that. You can get it straight from Netcus. Then download the Apple firmware update from its new location. Mount the DMG file. And then use the upgrade tool to create the RAM disk which in my case, and as an aside, in my case too, directly failed with the error code 5530. But it does create the RAM disk. Alright, so have a look at the content of the upgrade tool and copy the following scripts, which I did. And the further directions to remove certain lines of code. Now, once that's done and saved, we have to use terminal commands to actually get the firmware update to run. So, Oh, it won't let me save. Text said it won't let me save. It'll say save a version. Well, okay. Double check. Okay, yes, in fact, it did save with all of the edits, so we're good. Now I've got to try running these terminal commands to see if I can actually make it work. Well, you know, here's what's going to happen. I I'm going to try to do this. If, in fact, it restarts with a chance of actually running the firmware update, I will, you know, record that and hope and pray that it works. Uh, this has gotten to be pretty crazy. All right. All right, well... Anyhow, stay tuned. Well, it seems like it worked. Now, when, when you do a firmware update, hold, press and hold the power button until you see a flashing light. That'll, if that light starts flashing after a few seconds, yes! There's the beep. Now the other thing that happens, hopefully, well, that will be once we've seen the boot screen start up, starting the flash. And there it is. And we have ejected the, dri the uh, optical drive. I have no idea why that happens, and I don't care. 
Now, one thing I will say while we're waiting for the, the flash to happen and find out if it flashed successfully, uh, in the directions on that MacRumors forum, you can't just copy-paste uh, the commands that, that he puts in. What you need to do is drag and drop the specific files onto, yeah, from the RAM disk into, no, the drive just closed, uh, into the, the terminal window. Do that, and it works. Okay, we're getting a chime. Oh, and here's refit, because I put refit on earlier. Well, that's right, and one thing about refit, that I'll explain that later. Uh, refit does not recognize the mouse, so you've got to use the keyboard commands. Not a big deal. So we're booting back into Lion. And it may take a while. And here we are at the Lion desktop. Well, at least it's still working. Now, I never... Oh, I left mail open. Okay. I... I never uh, have this many things just strewn around the desktop. I keep my desktop cleaner than that, but this has been a process. Okay, here goes nothing. Okay, 3 gigahertz quad-core Intel Xeon, that was supposed to happen. It's only reading one processor. That's, that's okay because that should be fixed on a restart. And then the system report. There you see it, Mac Pro 2,1. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to do a couple of restarts and get this to read both processors. But we're halfway there anyway. I'll have to do some extensive research about the SMC update. There is another option, by the way. You can either run SMC fan control or Max fan control, uh, which will control the fans for you. You don't absolutely have to have the SMC update. So I'm going to do some research and see what happens. This will end up as its own video. Uh, this will, however, not be the last clip. I am intending to get it to read the two processors so you can see that. Stay tuned. Yep, one restart cleared it. 2 by 3 gigahertz quad-core Intel Xeons. And it is, well, let's look at it one more time because I worked hard for this. Mac Pro 2, 1. Ah. Well. That is going to be the end of this video. I had originally intended that this would be a video uh, encompassing both the firmware flash and the SMC firmware flash. Uh, <laughs> um, but then again, I was expecting this would take a mere matter of minutes that was going to work, just reboot, uh, do the flash, and we're on. But all's well that ends well, as they say. Be good to other people. They deserve it. Be good to yourselves. You especially deserve it. Take very good and careful care. This has been Broken Electronics. We'll be seeing you real soon. Uh, next up will have to be whatever I figure out about the SMC.